Karen, this is the most exciting day that could happen to this Detroit Red Wings team. The captain, as you said, coming back in a different role. Now general manager, a guy who's had a lot of success in that general manager role as well in Tampa Bay, hoping to bring a little bit of that here in Detroit. And he said today at the press conference, the work starts now. Thank you. I, re I really appreciate you all. Uh this was a long time coming. Steve Iserman back with the Red Wings, this time as GM. He joked he thought he would have to wait a whole lot longer. I thought Kenny is going to be the manager for X. Jim Mill is going to take over for Kenny. And, you know, I'm going to be 100 before I get to be the manager of the Red Wings. So. This moment made possible because former general manager Ken Holland decided to step aside. It's a real exciting day for me um, to see Steve Eiserman come back where he belongs uh, back in Detroit with the Detroit Red Wings. Holland stays on as senior vice president and Eiserman says he will call on his friend and mentor often. But make no mistake, this is Stevie Wise team now and he believes the future here is bright. I think we're off to a tremendous start as you watch the team this year with the likes of Dylan Larkin, Anthony Mantha, uh, uh, Andreas Athanasiou, uh, uh, Tyler Bertuzzi, uh, Philip Aronic. You have the foundation for a core there. So he likes what the Red Wings have done, you know, right now. They have this great core of young guys, and he thinks the future is bright. He did say pump the brakes a little bit, fans. It's going to take a while to get back to that Stanley Cup contending level, but he thinks he could do it. Now, of course, that uh, press conference was packed with so many people, including former Red Wings, and I caught up recently with Henrik Zetterberg. Yeah, obviously, it's a it's a big day for a club, uh, and uh, you know, Steve, it meant a lot for me uh, during my playing years here, and, and obviously, Ken uh, meant even more for me. So it, it is a, it is a big day. Uh, it's a great day for 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 organization, and, and uh, for me, it was a pretty pretty easy choice to come down. He says that his playing time will not have any effect on his managerial skills. Do you agree? No, I, I think when you, when you play for that long and, and you had the success he had as a player, uh, you you learn so much that, that will reflect in his management uh, job. So even though that he probably doesn't think that, you know, he that definitely helps him. There's a wonderful sense of family with this organization. It's why Henrik Zetterberg wanted to come back, and it's why Chris Draper, Darren McCarty, and all these people were here for this great moment. This feels like a game changer for this organization. We'll get more into that in sports, but 